Hi guys, charity shop gold or garbage. Another day where I nearly didn't buy anything at all. There really doesn't seem to be much in the charity shops at the moment that I like buying. This just happened to be in the last charity shop I came to and it cost me £1.99 and that cost me 50p. Uh, in fact, it's one of those shops that doesn't have their name on the till receipt, so I can't even remember the name of that shop. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, so I spent £2.50 in total. We'll talk about this one first. Just, I thought it'd be interesting to have one. It's a launch or release system for little toys. I expect those um, Hot Wheels cars would fit in there. You push that back, push that down, and then to launch it, you press that button. First thing that comes up is that, and then it releases the car, or pushes the car. It's just a double release ratchet in there, and a rubber band around this bit. So, so you push that down and it releases this one, and then push it a bit further and it releases that one. Made by Mattel. That says Disney Fixer. It's probably one of the Toy Story bits. Spare Mint or Sparrow Mint. Oh, Sparrow Mint, isn't it? Yeah, probably one of those cars accessories. I thought it was worth having just for a bit of fun. This one, interesting coincidence. You probably know that I like this sort of car. Clockwork, clear plastic body so you can see everything that's inside them. But the big coincidence is not so long ago I bought this one which was in a very poor state, all broken up, and it doesn't work very well. I took this one apart, did a disassembly video, took it right apart and tried to get it going better, and basically failed. And I'd spent £1.50 on that, wasn't happy that I spent that much money on one that was in a very poor state, lots of broken bits, and it doesn't work. Well, this one's even more expensive, £1.99. But, it does appear that it works. It didn't have a key with it. But that one works. That works. Uh, the gears turn around. This seems a bit intermittent on the back. It does turn. Uh, motor rocks backwards and forwards. And over this side, uh, this, well, whatever we want to call it, goes up and down. Can you see that? Yeah, it doesn't go up and down much. And on this one, yeah, motor rocks. Yeah, that goes up and down. And I actually had to fix this to get that to turn. There'll be a link in the video description to my playlist for this type of car. Um, I don't know who makes them. I say this every time I look at one. This one actually has Early Learning Centre written on it, which is one of the um, shops that sells all sorts of stuff for young kiddies. But the other ones haven't got any names on them. So these are the first ones I've found that have actually got a company name on them, Early Learning Centre. But they don't make them, they obviously just sell them, so they've had them branded in their name. So I don't know what company actually makes them. I'll put it on the floor so we can see it run anyway. He went all right. In 
fact he went better than I expected because the last one hardly moved at all. Let's see if we can hit the camera but I'll protect the camera first. Well that one certainly works. Much better than the old one. I'll still keep this one for spare parts. But that one works fine. Although I'm not quite sure why you would want to race a combine harvester or a grass cutter, whatever that's supposed to be. 